modern management education tells us that each one of us has to be aspirational this is exactly what our vedas tell us in this anuvaga we discuss about the aspirational aspect ക്ഷ This Anuvaka 4 of the second Prabhadaka tells us we have been given a pure body by the Lord and we have to maintain the purity. We, have, we are strong. The strength is within us and truth is also within us. Each one has to be truthful. Remember the father of the nation of India his strength was truth he used to say armed with truth so the veda always tells us that truthfulness is what we should practice always from within us the anuvaga continues by telling us that we have to have self control in what we say self control is a very big requirement not only in one's career but in social life as well and this anuvaga is actually a prayer to help us attain self control in our actions thoughts and in what we say the veda continues to tell us that we have to aspire for sat chidananda what is that sat chit and ananda means with truth and a truthful mind we can attain ananda this is what this tells us so be truthful the veda always tells us it keeps on telling us the truthfulness and an alert mind is what will beget happiness for everyone and this verse tells us that soul does not die only the body perishes our soul is infinite energy it comes and resides in our body for a brief while even as the veda says 100 years is the life span of a man after the 100 years when the body is used up the soul begets another body and our actions and thoughts and speech these have an effect on the soul not just the body because all our actions are nothing but energy at various levels the veda this anuvaga continues to tell us that we have to have dikshana that is discernment that's again an explanation that we have to have self control and truthfulness and then this verse tells us the vedas often tell us that we should have dikshana dikshana is discernment that is we have to be careful we have to choose our words and action earlier we were told the truthfulness is the key and along with truthfulness dikshana is what makes a man and what is man 
it is nothing but your mind and mind is indra throughout the vedas it speaks of indra and it tells us about indriya so the mind controls our indriyas you are nothing but your mind so you are indra because you control your indriyas through your actions and deeds mata manyada anupida prada you heard that now what does it mean this is a very important aspect that each one of us has to practice to have a successful family and social life it means that or rather it prays for the capacity to take actions to speak what would meet the approval of one's own parents brothers and sisters and friends and the society that means that a conflict free environment is what is envisaged for a good life on this planet this anuvaga concludes with a prayer for soma the ultimate bliss we should note here that soma is not any intoxicant as has been misinterpreted by many commentators in our prayers according to the vedas we always say about oneself vasu rudra aditya swarupani this exactly means that we are vasu that is the power prevalent throughout the world and what is rudra it is strength you should be strong so the energy prevalent throughout the universe is present within us within each one of us and rudra is power and what is aditya it is not just the sun it is knowledge the light inside so vasu rudra aditya swarupani and of course vayu vayu is not just the air we breathe it is again the energy within the energy present throughout the world that is present within us also and what does the veda tell us each one of us is a personification of all this energy and agni also means knowledge and we have to be instrumental in spreading this knowledge throughout the world hinduism has a lot of scriptures starting with the vedas and to make the vedas understandable to the common man the rishis had composed puranas and itihasas and there the symbolism in the vedas are explained with stories and there you often find a damsel called urvashi actually what is urvashi the urvashi mentioned in the puranas is a damsel but actually urvashi means that agency or that power which spreads knowledge throughout the world so when there is knowledge it has to be spread throughout the world and this verse concludes with a prayer for the ability to spread awareness about the vedas and about oneself to the entire world sanatana dharma has many scriptures unlike the western and other religions it is not just one book that sanatana dharma follows hinduism or sanatana dharma has vedas upanishads itihasas puranas and these are many down the years the vedas have been simplified into puranas and other stories 
for better understanding of the masses and there in the puranas we often find a reference to urvashi it is often a damsel in the heaven and what is urvashi in the vedas urvashi means the goddess that spreads knowledge throughout the world and it implies that we have to be blessed by the capacity to spread knowledge and this anuvaga concludes with a prayer for valor like sri krishna paramatma advised arjuna in the bhagavad gita it is not enough that you have knowledge you have to be valorous you have to have that fighting spirit within you and that is for fighting negativity and for spreading positive energy throughout the world in the next anuvaga we are told that we are a part of the universal knowledge that means we are not complete by just being ourselves we are part of the total knowledge and we have to complement it by spreading what we have learned in the vedic times our rishis who had accomplished the thought process used to know what is yet to come and what had happened earlier it is not an exaggeration this verse tells us that our mind and the knowledge within us the light within us is not stand alone it is a part of the universal light or the universal knowledge let us note that the rishis do not say that they wrote the vedas they rather got the vedas they just found it out that is by meditation so what you are seeking outside is actually within you you have to take efforts to find it out that is what is called manana in sanskrit and the verse continues to tell us or rather prays for finding the truth and the ecstasy that comes out of it many times we read that the accomplished rishis they are so joyous that even if they are hurt physically they are not deterred there are no number of stories and episodes and incidents and indian folklore which testify to this power of the mind and after saying so or rather praying for ecstasy the verse concludes by seeking good ancestors and good successors because ancestors ourselves and successors is a long chain can we get good ancestors that is the meaning is we should try to understand our ancestors what they did because that light or in as in modern science that genetics that dna is within you and you are going to pass on that dna to your successors so you find out you about your ancestors realize yourself and then you pray for begetting good sons and daughters and grandchildren in that way when knowledge is passed on as light or rather when light is passed on as knowledge that is called enlightenment and that begets good successors in the next anuvaga we pray for soma the ultimate bliss stay tuned and kindly subscribe to this channel
Thank you.